What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video. Today we have my room tour. Um, something I've been wanting to do for a while. A lot of people have been asking for it. My room's not huge, nothing crazy, you know. I just have like little things here and there. A lot of people have been asking for it. So I'm just gonna give it to you guys right now. So yeah. This is like the main part of my room. Like the like first thing when you walk in, this is kind of like what you see. Um, Basically, this is like where I'm gonna start it off. Um, these are three pictures that my friend Harley took for me when he was at the rodeo tour, both Travis Scott and Young Thug. Um, they're just 35 millimeter pictures. I'm really into film photography recently. I'm actually, for like the past year, I've been shooting it a lot. So on my Instagram, it's a mix of the two, but um, these are just three pictures. Young Thug, Cake Slat, and Travis Scott. And this is really dope. I like seeing like the progression between like now because they're doing like arenas and stuff. And this is like a really humble tour. Also continuing here, just like the back of my door. Bags that I use like on the daily. I haven't used this yet actually, so I'm lying to myself. But anyway, running around the house hoodie, just like my graduation hoodie. A black Supreme bag, I use this for school all the time. Another Supreme bag, just another random hoodie. And then this is some more like artwork. I'm trying to fill this wall up. This is like a main thing I've been trying to do. Um, this is like an ongoing project. This is kind of like why I haven't filmed the room tour yet. This is gonna take a long ass time. So this is just all 35 millimeter pictures that I've been taking over the past couple of years. I'm gonna mix it in with other people's work too. Um, like some of my friends that take pictures, whether it's Brian, he's behind the camera. I'm just gonna fill up this whole wall. This is kind of like just the horizontal pictures. I'm gonna move into vertical pictures. I'm gonna like stop it probably like around here and then continue on to like other ideas that I have in the other parts of the room. But this is some like random picture I got from Rocky out of the Sneeze magazine, I think. So that was from that. Just a mirror, just from Ikea. I don't think you're able to get this anymore. It's like an old ass mirror. I wish it was a bit bigger, better for the outfit pictures, but uh, it works for now, you know, it does its thing. Before it was like a small ass mirror, it was like this small. So uh, the outfit pictures weren't getting busy back in the day. So yeah, that's about it. Continuing on to other parts of my room, this is the closet, small as hell. I am running out of space by the, almost by the week at this point. Whenever I get pieces in, small pieces of anxiety dribble across my little brain, you know what I mean? So this is like chaotic, like very chaotic at this point. Um, if I do move out, like after college and everything, roommates are probably gonna hate me because I'm probably gonna have to pay for like two rooms type shit because the second room is probably gonna be the closet on its own because I have clothes in the living room, I have clothes in storage, I have clothes under the bed, on all four drawers, I have clothes in a closet, and I think I have some clothes in my mom's closet too, so it's kind of a problem now. But anyway, getting onto it, just first things that you see before you get into the closet, Givenchy lanyard, stupidest purchase of my life. Um, <laughs> just for last, la lanyard from when I shot photography for Young Troy's concert, I think. Uh, Magic Jordan VIP thing, I did a vlog about that a long time ago. Um, dime, hard hat. Um, one of my friends gave this to me. Yeah, it's like a lot of people ask me how I got this. I just, I got lucky. I have no idea how I got this. It just came my way and now I have it. So yeah. Um, under the, that is just CDs. We don't use CDs anymore. It's 2018, 2019. You already know, like we can't do that anymore. Can't put it in any of my Apple devices. So that's just like pointless. In here I have just like important documents, but then also I have like all my negatives from the film that I shoot. And that's all held together by this little shelf that I built. Wood shop, shout out Mr. Robinson, you already know. Both of y'all went to Westmount High School with me too. So, you know, I was a young carpenter in my day. You know, young, young pioneer when it comes to this. But continuing on, this is the chaotic closet of Kyron. As crazy as it is. All you guys gonna roast me in the comments. Oh wow, he has plastic hangers, blah, blah, blah. I have wooden ones too, okay, bitch. With the amount of clothes that I have, it's just not practical and the space that I have, it's just not practical to have wooden hangers because it takes up like about double of what a plastic one would. So I feel like when I do move out and everything, I'll just get all wooden hangers. It makes more sense, yeah. But um, for now, it does its part. I kind of have it broken down into like, this is just t-shirts. I have my little method to my madness when it comes to that. And then it goes into like flannels and like stuff like that. In the back, it's more dress shirts, which is stuff that I don't really wear all the time. Here, when it comes to the wooden stuff, it's like more like things that I pride myself in. Um, and then it goes into straight hoodies. I have mad hoodies, like stupid amounts of hoodies. Um, just a random drawer just to keep 
randomness in. I just keep a bunch of stuff that I don't touch on the daily in here. And then all my boxes of shoes on the bottom, on the top, and just really does it end. It's pretty bad in here, honestly. Gives me anxiety. We're gonna tuck that away, actually. Go keep that for another time, because mm -hmm. Karen's closet tour, it would end with like a mountain of clothes here, a mountain of clothes there. You guys would have anxiety along with me, so it's not the greatest thing. So we'll continue on to like the bed and the other side of my room right now. This is like the bed, the main situation, the thing that takes up the majority of the space in my room. I need a practical bed. This is a queen size bed. Um, I just need my space, man, where the magic happens, you know? Nothing, nothing but the magic happens here, which is a whole lot of sleep and celibacy. 2019, that's how we come in. Anyway, continuing on, we have just a flat screen TV. I play mainly music videos on this all the time. Wake up, Drake, you know? I cry a couple tears, that's about it. And then later on in the afternoon, we play random hooligans that I find on the internet, you know what I mean? Um, shout out to Remy, he gave me this Dipset Supreme poster. Unfortunately, I don't have enough space on my thing. Like, I'm OCD, so like this side of my room is kind of like proportional. But um, if I do two, it's gonna be kind of weird because this is a canvas and then this is that. So I don't really know where I wanna put this yet. So we're gonna figure it out. Shout out to Remy though, I really appreciate this because both of them are like inspirations to me. Dipset is crazy. Um, so moving on to the bed itself, these are like the Kyron official sheets. Everyone always asks me where I get these sheets. Just go Ikea, bro. It's the Kyron sheets. They're not cutting me a check either, you know? Virgil, they gave Virgil a check. They didn't give me a check, okay? But you guys, you could, you could get this at Ikea, you know? I got this babe pillow. Don't ask me why I bought a babe pillow. I just got it because I was in LA and um, 3P LA was tax and heavy for a lot of the pieces, but I figured a pillow, I'm definitely gonna have it for life and it wasn't that expensive. And it, it gives me good memories. Like that was like one of my favorite videos that I did on YouTube. So if you guys wanna watch that, I'll put like a little card on the top, on the top, whatever. Um, this crazy story, I can't really tell too much information about it, but um, basically um, I think her name is Rosa Acosta. She did a shoot for Supreme and back at this boutique I used to work at, in Montreal, basically he had an in with some of the people at Supreme and one of the employees had this canvas. They'll ask him how he got it, but he had this canvas and he sold it to him and then he sold it to me. So now it's here. Bed, I don't know where I got it from. It's possibly Ikea too. Sponsor me Ikea, you know? I need that check, bro. The lights behind my, um, is that a bed, is a bed? Bed, bed frame. Bed frame? Bed frame. Yeah? Baseboard? No, baseboard is bottom. Headboard. Headboard. We got it, headboard. Anyway, behind my bed's headboard is these lights. Um, I've been wanting like the Hue ones from Philips, but those are an arm and a leg. For now, I'm gonna have these ones. These are from Costco. You get them for like 70 bucks or something like that. Um, I'll have like, like a link in the description from uh, Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can find them on Amazon, but you could get them at Costco. They're pretty cheap. They change colors, I think. So one different move, we got the green, we got, the, we got the blue, we got the, got the orange. We got the magenta, you know what I mean? We got every color in the, what you want. Trifectas, you know. This is the only magic that happened on this the This is the right? only magic. Celibacy, I told you guys about this. Come on, man. This is all I, this is the only magical thing that happened in this room, okay? We're gonna put it back onto, you know, the majestic colors though, you know what I mean? But that's it, that's that's the magic, okay? Other part here is just Supreme Deck. Another reason why, I, I don't know, it's just, I have a bunch of hype beast stuff in my room and I have no clue why it's here. It's just there. I don't even know the name of that deck to be honest. Charger by the bedside, practical, you know, that's about it. I think that's about it for a bed, a bed to bed.
Take that to that. <laughs> You killed that joint. This typical stuff, Ikea once again, you know, I need the sponsorship. Blackout curtains, um, cause I hate the mornings, so we need the blackout curtains so the light doesn't come through. That's about it though. Another thing, very nostalgic thing for Kyron's room. Actually, we'll start with that after. But um, this is a canvas that Isaiah, my boy Isaiah, uh, and I did a long time ago. Was really into, into graffiti. Don't do that anymore though, cause I'm a nice boy. I'm a, kind of human being now, I changed my ways. Um, but then continuing on, this is like a nostalgic thing for Kyron's room. This is actually a door. I took this door from my old apartment. Um, I had to buy him a new one and they were very upset, but I really wanted my door because I sticker bombed the hell out of it. It was about like up to like maybe around here, like almost halfway. Actually, no, it was like halfway and then up to here. And I was like, you know what? Might as well finish the whole thing. So I went and bought them a new door and I kept this door. I was like, you know what? I'll turn it into like a little piece of art. So every time I get stickers, I add it onto this wall. I mean, this door, but I call it a wall now because it's mounted onto my wall now. So it's pretty dope. It's like a little piece of artwork. I'm thinking of cutting it into two or I might just keep it as a door. I don't know. What, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But uh, yeah, it's pretty dope. I have like the rare Supreme stickers at the bottom, but then the rest, like I like I like the other ones that are like more handmade, like I'm, I make stickers because of my graffiti background, I used to make stickers. So I make like different one-off ones, which are pretty sick. Um, continuing on, got sample Papa Hadi bag that you guys can't see. That's about it. On the ground, artwork. This is from Vince. Um, he's the creative director at Dime. He made like a one of 50 run of these prints, which is pretty sick. So I kind of want to make this side of the wall, how would you call that? Independent artist of Montreal type of thing, you know what I mean? So I want to have like Vince's work, I want to have like other people from the city. I want to get like Scott Pilgrim, a bunch of different photographers to like fill up this side of the wall and then that side's going to be like more my stuff. This is going to be their stuff and then this wall, I have no clue what I'm going to do with it, but we'll keep it at that. Moving on to like my night table, which is pretty like simplistic. I actually made this, you know, young carpenter, young visionary, young Furniture director Kyron, you know what I mean? You could call me a lot of names, but that's that's one of the many. I made this from scratch, thanks to Mr. Robinson. He made one too, I'm pretty sure. And I think Casey made one too. He's here, you know, you can show Casey. I made one. You made one? Say it again, say it again. Yo, I made one, okay? Young Comforter dreams, fam. When I wanna grow up, I wanna make a bed. That's where the magic happens? No magic, celibacy 2019, you already know what I'm talking about. You know, this is another one of those colors, baby. All we do is, this is the only magic that happens in this room, I'm telling you, okay? Color changes. Oh, okay, anyway, this is the SL Touch Light or something like that. I think my grandma gave me that like three years ago. I had no idea what I was gonna use it for. It's a speaker and it's a light. I just keep it on my nightstand. Um, random little pens. Off-white pen, you know, hit me, hit my line, $500 for the off-white pen, you already know. You know. Like we, we drop those, that's on the ground. My Supreme pen, $700, drop down on the ground. Light work. Kermit the Frog exclusive, Bic lighter, that's Brian's I think, possibly. You can have that. On the night table, uh, we have to give a friendly shout out to Avery, you already know, know. This is really sick hospital band, very exclusive. I put it on one day and then um, I had some type of important gathering and they were like, cut your bracelet. I was very upset because I know I'm not gonna have another one of those, but Avery, if you have any more, send me like a dead stock one because I kind of need one of those. Low detail shots that we'll go through with Casey. The touch light, like we said before, candles. You always gotta have a good ambiance candle, you know what I mean? This, you wanna know about these? <laughs> Shout out to Justice, okay? I haven't paid for a hot beverage from McDonald's in a year and a half. Shout out to Justice, you already know. Plug talk. And uh, you know what? Another thing, I haven't paid for David's tea in about two years. Don't ask me about that one. Oh, facts. I'll take that. <laughs> I got mine still. This is <laughs> Ace of Spades bottle that I somehow acquired after uh, a wild night. Because I definitely didn't pay for that. $700 is a lot of money. This is just John tape. I don't know why it's around the Ace of Spades bottle. I think it's because I was trying to keep it sticky. But I th it might be sticky. It might not be. But anyway, continuing on. Rick Owens breath mints, like I said before. Exactly. Mm. You know, you know. It could be a maraca too. <laughs> uh, Chrome Hearts um, matches. 
some like you already know in case i'm trying to be a pyromaniac <laughs> so some garbage is <laughs> uh match made in heaven these are from 424 on fairfax i don't know why i have so many matches maybe i, I might be a pyromaniac maniac actually uh kid robot toy that i didn't know i still have but that's still there Jean thing i don't know supreme bouncy ball in case my cousin's trying to come over it'd be annoying leave the case for my bracelet shout out to remy again another shout out but uh that's about it for my room man and i have like Random bottles of Fiji water at the bottom because I'm lazy as hell and I don't really go to the Go to the fridge in the middle of the night. So that's about it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys um, That's my room my small ass room the bed takes up the majority of it I have a little knickknacks all around it But uh majority of it's just closet space and a uh, big ass bed. So that's about it Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go follow the boy on Instagram. You already know Gang, if you guys are follow, if you guys are subscribed or, or following me, you know what are you guys doing it here for? You know, because all we do is the magic around here, so on this channel, pure magic. That's right. Another one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace. Cut this.